gonna say? I'm in frame? I don't know. So I'm here in my kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. Um, it's really messy. So if you see mess, don't judge my mess. The mess. Um, today we're here. Um, this is my attempt at making a YouTube video, editing it and posting it within the same day. Today is Friday. If you're seeing this not posted on a Friday, I didn't live up to that promise. Sad day. Um, we're here. We're drinking wine during the day. Um, because this is a series that I'm gonna start called My Drunk Tutorials. It's my homage to the Hannah Hart's version of My Drunk Kitchen. Now, um, let's have some wine. So we're going to go through brushes, woo, everyone loves brushes, um, maybe, um, that's my dog drinking water, blending brushes, woo. okay, so we have a few here, let's get out all these little brushes, I have all these, these three, are exactly the same. This one I pinched myself um, because I was thinking I was a brush painter. Um, and then we have all these other ones, obviously blend. Uh, but there's multiple different uses that you can use a blending brush for. Um, so if I take my glasses off, hello there, stewardess, no glasses. So if I take my glasses off, you can see. Um, yeah, it's mainly just for blending colors out um, into the crease, um, but what I really love using blending brushes for, which is why I have so many, it's not only for blending the eyes, um, I also like it for setting or blending out concealers. Um, sometimes I'll use it for highlighting, um, but it's still kind of a little too small. I do have one particular blending brush, this big fatty, that's what I call that one, because as you can see, there is a noticeable size difference. What I really, really like for setting my under eyes, I'll use it for highlighting, contouring if I really want that little, like, contour. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much just a standard, I'd consider just a standard domed shadow brush. There's dual fiber blending brushes, look like that. Um, they're really, really nice. I use these a lot for concealers. Um, nose contours. I really don't use this one a lot on the eyes, surprisingly. I'm not sure why. Uh, so there's those. Pretty nice. Um, I do love me a good blending brush. Um, so then we have this like, I call them a standard eyeshadow brush. Three. This one is the, the MAC 235. This one's my new favorite. Uh, it was a part of the semi-precious collections, was discontinued, now it's back in the permanent collection if you go on their website. I'm not sure if they carry it in stores, um, but it is a split fiber, so you have synthetic on one side, natural on the other. Um, I use the synthetic side for concealer, um, or I'll use it for carving out my eyebrows, and then you can blend it out with the other side. Really, really good. If you don't have this brush, you probably should. Um, and then you have just a standard flat paddle brush. Um, this one's by an Amazon brand. I don't know. I like to buy cheap brushes and see how they go. And these ones are the best that I have found so far um, on Amazon. Um, then we have this one, which is a Real Techniques base shadow brush. This one also could be a uh, blending brush if you've got smaller eyes. Um, but I generally just use it as like a wash of color all over the So then we have various types of liner brushes. Let's get them in a little bit more of an order. We've got angled brushes. We've got um, pointier brushes here. 
This one is a MAC one. I don't know what the number is because it's all rubbed off, but it's their like skinny liner brush. Oh Jesus, so much wine. We need more. Uh, both brushes, pretty standard. This one's the NYX one. This one's a Cala one. I don't know where I got that. This one also comes from that Amazon set. All really nice. Um, they all perform pretty much the same. Some of them are skinnier and thinner than others. Um, these are what I use for eyebrows or winged liners. Alright, so all of my other foundation brushes and face brushes are dirty. I only have a few that aren't. Sorry. Um, didn't prep for this. Woke up this morning. Rare and go. Thought I was going to make a video. Um, so this is my favorite face brush currently. It's the MAC 130. You can't see it because it's all worn off. But It's just a duo fiber. It's like a smaller version of the MAC 187. It's super great. Um, I like to use it in a stippling motion and then lightly blending it out. Now I've noticed a lot of YouTubers, when they use their duo fiber brushes, they tend to smush the whole bristle down, kind of getting the product into those natural hairs. And now my problem with that is, the sort of a purpose of a duo fiber is to have the product sit on the very tips of the bristles and create almost a pixelated look, and to blend that out from there. And when you smush the hair bristles into the natural hairs, which are these darker ones, it's going to absorb some of your product. You're going to lose some of your product at that point. Um, it's just going to stay in the brush until you wash it out. Um, unless, you know, you use these synthetic bristles on the top. But I do really love these brushes. I just see some people kind of using them. I shouldn't say the wrong way, because there is no wrong way. There isn't. Um, so there's that. Then you've got things like... Just a standard, good old powder brush. Don't know where this came from, but it's nice. Um, I use it for all of our face setting, bronzing, blush. Pretty good standard sort of powder brush there. Um, then you've got this one. She's Dirty, Real Techniques. They consider this a blush brush. I consider this just um, far too large for blush. My dog is barking, I'm sorry. Um, it's getting dark. Blush brush. Too big for blush. I use it for all over bronzing to warm up the skin, not necessarily contouring. This for me, I'd have to like smush it down and like chisel it out. And then any of that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the brushes. The fan brush is pretty much optional. Um, but if I was to tell people that they need, need a certain amount of brushes. Um, you know, I would pick out a foundation, let's see, standard one, that would be five brushes that I would, I would tell someone to pick up. So I would say you would need a powder brush, foundation brush doesn't have to be the MAC or it doesn't even have to be dual fiber, you can have a powder brush, a buffing brush, like the Real Techniques Expert Face brush is really nice um, for foundation, but just a foundation brush crease brush or blending brush, a flat shader brush, and then a liner brush. Now this could be either the skinny one, I picked the angled one because you can do both. You can do a winged liner and you can do your eyebrows with it, just clean it off, you see. Before hands, unless you want black brows. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I don't know. If you do, let me know. I have more wine. I can make more videos. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see any other videos. This was kind of random. I hope the quality is as good as I'd like it to be. Um, that's why I keep saying I'll make videos and I don't. So, I hope you like it. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye.